Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you a free sample from our wedding watercolor flow pack. So let's check it out. All right, so you can download this title by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the instruction, the TRFX file and the phone. It's very important that you install the font, otherwise the title will not work. Then just double click on the TRFX file, will prompt open this window, click install, and now the title is installed on your computer. You can then go in DaVinci, we are on the edit page, you go over to effect, title, and here you can search for sample and it will just bring you all the sample that you may already have from us as well as the wedding watercolor floor sample so you can just take it and drag it here in the timeline you can stretch that title as long as you want there is an animation in and an animation out but by default here is off but you can just put it on and it's the same thing here for the animation in you can just switch between off and on you also have the possibility to adjust the animation length so right now it's three seconds but you could modify it for being one second or five seconds now let's see the customization option here as you can see we have the size and position so you can increase the size of the title you can adjust the position of the title and the angle of the title you can just double click on any parameter to reset the value to the default value. So here I'm just going to increase the size so we can see properly what we're doing. All right, so then in the next drop down, you can change the primary text. You can adjust the font, color, size, tracking, center, and here order. You can basically adjust the animation of the text itself. So right now it's selected as right to left. All right, so now if we play it, as you can see, we have the animation actually going from left to right. Uh, for some reason, they are reversed. So here, if I were to select left to right, the animation will not be the same. Uh, and same thing here for outside in, inside out. You have a bunch of different possibility that you can choose from. Then the next drop-down is secondary text. You have a tick box to deactivate or activate the text. You can change the text right here and then the exact same parameter as the primary text right there for those two. Then we have the shadow control. I'm just gonna bring a clip here in my timeline to show you what it looks like. So here, as you can see, we don't have so much of separation between our subject and the title. So what if you would like to increase the shadows of the composition? You can do that right there with shadow control. Here you have the shadow strengths, or you can completely remove the effect with enable uh, tick box and here uh, increase the shadow strengths considerably if you want. You can adjust also the angle and you can adjust also the drop distance. So you can make it closer or further from your title. Right now we're going to bring it closer and you can also adjust the blur so you can make the shadow very diffuse or you can make it a solid shadow. Right now we're just going to leave it like that. And as you can see right now, if I play with the enable button, it really makes a big difference uh, in making the overall title pop. The next drop down is the glow control. So here you can adjust the glow size and intensity. So here you can just increase the glow intensity and then the glow size, which is basically gonna be the spread of that glow. And then the next drop down, we have a perspective where you can adjust the X, the Y, and the Z axis of the title. And then you have the background, which is a pre-animated background with like a 12 frame uh, fade in. And here you can just increase the opacity to either have a full solid or here just uh, having basically a layer between your title and your subject to make your uh, title pop a little bit more. With this tick box right there, you can uh, choose to either have the animation on or off. And you can adjust here the width, you can adjust the height, the corner radius, and here by taking invert and then playing with the soft edge, you can actually create a vignette instead of background. And then with opacity, you can just increase the strength of that vignette. And that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the sample and you want to get more of those kind of titles, you can check the full pack available on our website. You can just click right there to get to the web page or with the link in the description below. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles from our library. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.